Whoa, like I literally can't talk. This has never happened to me. So long story short is I'm out of ink and I really need some. To my surprise, my kids were really enjoying these books because they can actually read it themselves. I'm honestly not feeling very well. Like my stomach hurts from so much coughing. Hi guys, it is Saturday, January 6th and I'm in my classroom. You can probably already hear in my voice that I am sick. I actually don't feel like super sick. I just sound sick. Like every now and then I'll get like a coughing attack. But other than that, I don't feel sick sick. Um, at least, or at least not as sick as I have been feeling for the past two weeks. I was honestly getting better maybe like last Thursday. And then come Friday, I went to work and someone else was like super, super sick and got everybody at work sick. So I got sick again. And then I was starting to feel better, get over that. But then I started getting a cough. Like I'm not super like stuffy. I'm not like super stuffy, but I'm just coughing now. And now my voice sounds horrible. <laughs> so I'm going to start setting up some bulletin boards. I'm also going to post my standards on my focus wall. I'm going to try to clean my carpet a little bit because it's so dirty. Um, the last day of school, the, the last day before winter break is when we had our Polar Express party and a lot of hot chocolate got spilled on the carpet and our carpets do not get cleaned very often. I think they only get cleaned once over the summer, at least that's what I was told by one of the custodians. So I'm gonna try to somehow clean it. My dad's gonna come and help me out with that. I'm also going to try to organize my early finisher bags because I made new bags. Um, they just look, sorry. They just look like this and they are color coded. So the pink ones, I have some pink ones. And yeah, I got them right. The pink ones are math activities and the blue ones are like literacy activities and they also want to add one more bin um, I'm hoping I can find like a green bin at Dollar Tree or something like that where I want to add some fine motor skills activities because I think my kiddos will benefit from that I also changed my seating chart so I am going to go ahead and put new name tags on there they're not gonna be the same name tags that I've been using the entire year they're actually gonna be a little bit smaller and thinner <clears throat> just because it will make cleaning things up a lot easier and I like these better because they have like a personalized clip art kind of like the ones that I use for my Christmas gifts so I think those look cool and I was also running out of ink also story time so you may or may not know I have HP instant ink and I absolutely love it I honestly don't know what I would do if I didn't have it I think all my resources in my room would be black and white because ink is expensive with HP Instant Ink, everything's just like a whole lot more affordable. Um, I think I pay like $10 a month and I can print like 300 pages. And if I go over those pages, it's only like a dollar more for 25 more pages. If you are thinking of signing up, I'll have a link down below where you can click it and you can get a month free, I think. So you get a month and I get a month or you get three months. I don't know. You get like some kind of months free and I get some too. So I had been running low on my black ink since December. So if you watch my vlogs from December when I was trying to make my Christmas gifts, you would know that I was saying like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough ink. I haven't received any ink from them um, and so on and so forth. So when I was making my gifts in December, I actually did receive a new ink cartridge. But when I opened it, it was the colored ink cartridge, not the black ink cartridge which I'm doing pretty good on colored ink just not black and white or black ink so I figured I'll just keep printing and my printer will eventually let them know that I need more <laughs> black ink um, so I kept printing and printing and then I never got a notification from HP saying that a new ink was in the way so I went out and bought ink myself um, it would the black ink cartridge was like 18 bucks and it was like the very very small one the cartridges that HP instant ink sends you are really really big compared to the ones that you buy at the store so I think in comparison I don't know if I'm right right now but the HP instant ink one is about this big and then the other one is like this big so that kind of puts things into perspective Wednesday I want to say I started printing out things for my classroom that I needed and I put in the new ink cartridge and I went through that so fast so I decided to go ahead and check my HP instant ink profile 
and it said that the last time that they sent me black ink was back in November, like November 17th. I went ahead and contacted them asking like, hey, like I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten one since November. I'm running low on ink. I have to go out and buy some, which totally defeats the purpose of why I enrolled in HP Instant Ink and so on and so forth. The person that I was chatting with, because it was like online chat, was not incredibly helpful. I've done my fair share of contacting customer service on like other websites and usually like they're pretty fast like once you log into the chat like oh like I see that you are having issues with this blah 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 blah. This person was just like hi. I'm like hi. How are you? I'm like good. How are you? Like he wasn't it was just not very time efficient I guess. Eventually this person said oh like yeah it says that you got new ink on on November blah, blah blah but you never installed it and then he's like do you do you not have it and I'm like no that's why I'm contacting you like I I don't have it I haven't had new ink for such a long time now and then he's like well can you double check that you don't have it and honestly I had checked all over my apartment just to make sure that I didn't accidentally misplace it but I didn't he kept saying like oh well but it shows here that you got it this on this day blah 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 and I'm like I understand that but I'm, I'm also telling you that I don't have it. And then after like 15 minutes, he was able to tell me, okay, fine, we'll, we'll send you a new one. And uh, yeah. So long story short is I'm out of ink and I really need some. And now I have to wait. <laughs> cleaned uh, my dad was awesome and he vacuumed my entire room and he also uh, cleaned them the water coming out of the carpet cleaner was absolutely gross it was so like dark and dirty he's still here by the way um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and head home I'll, I did put up bulletin board letters on all three of them so this one over here says I have a dream that's gonna be our MLK bulletin board um, new year new goals and then we are smitten with sight words. It's gonna be our smart art uh, little board that I'm gonna have that I have planned. Um, I also put up my write the room cards and some like math write the room stuff too. I'm almost done putting the name tags on the tables. I also ended up let me see if I can show you this way putting new number posters up because I because I only had numbers 1 through 10, I have 0 through 20, and then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, happy Monday. The day is over. Today was the first day back from the Christmas break. As you can probably hear from my voice, I'm still sick, and it was actually kind of hard to teach while sick. I've never really, like, lost my voice. I guess this is the closest I've gotten, but I couldn't even get through a read aloud because I was coughing so much. Um, so I think tomorrow instead of a read aloud, if I'm still coughing this much, um, I'm just gonna play like a read to me book from Epic because it was so hard to try to get through that even with drinking water, having a cough drop and stuff like that. I just couldn't. I also couldn't sing along to all the songs that we usually sing. So like I would sing a little bit and take a break, sing a little bit, take a break. Um, it was just too much for my throat. Um, today like I said today was a really good day um, things were back to normal like I had no issues whatsoever one thing that I did do is I revamped my early finisher bin so this is my math bin I used to have a lot of activities but I but I noticed before break that students were not really following the activities they were just doing it like a different way and not necessarily doing it right so um, so I took some out and then I also added some. So I'll go ahead and show you what those look like right now. All right, so I'm gonna go through my math activities. So I have four. The first one is just um, 
putting numbers in order so the numbers are 1 through 30 right now and originally I had this timer but I realized it broke I mean it still kind of works but I have no idea how it broke oh I think I see yeah so like I said I have numbers 1 through 30 and the point of it is that with a partner they'll flip the timer try to put them in order as fast as they can so my kids like these today that's a new one another new one is this one right here this one I made myself so it's just making shapes with uh, popsicle sticks so it kind of shows you how you can make it and there's a bunch of different shapes so let me show you what shapes I have um, eventually I think I'd like to make like a 3d one with like velcro dots and stuff like that and I did order velcro dots they just haven't come in yet which is weird because I have Amazon Prime so they should have been here on Friday but but they're not gonna be here until like Thursday I think so just have hexagon pentagon square trapezoid rectangle and triangle my kids also really like making these especially the ones with more sides those are a little bit more challenging but those were fun for them so then my other one is one from kinder math so kinder math is just a Tara West math curriculum this was part of one of the lessons I actually haven't been using that very often now uh, I want to kind of want to look back into it and see what I can do but basically they are command cards so with a partner let's say if you, you and I were playing and I had the card so I would look at a card and as you see it's like snapping and two so you wouldn't know that but I would go like and then you would tell me what number it was so those are fun there's like snapping stomping clapping and stuff like that so there's, there's a bunch of different cards and I think I want to make more just with bigger numbers because I think they're only one through ten and then my last one is just a parking lot activity I think I also made this one myself um, so they're just little cards with numbers 2 through 11 and I have little like domino tiles so they'll count how many dots there are and park it where it goes all right so those are my math ones and like I said kids can do them by themselves or with one partner um, so let's look at my literacy ones so this one is a new one and my kids actually really liked it I wasn't sure how this was gonna go or if they were gonna be able to do it or if it was gonna be too hard but it's just like a sight word word search I worked on this over break so these are the sight words I'll be looking for and then I have a freebie for them already in each card so they can kind of see what they're supposed to be doing um, but yeah my kids really enjoyed these and um, these are just sight words from the first quarter so I want to make some from second quarter so just as a review so I just have expo markers in there and a little rag so they can erase it when they're done the next one is not super exciting but it is kind of exciting I don't know um, they are just like little readers that I bought off of simply kinder so she she had them like on super sale I think normally they're about $30 because it's a lot of sight word books but they were like $10 on New Year's Day so of course I bought them and I just have three right now so I just laminated the front cover and I stapled them together just to um, I don't know have them last a little bit longer and they're not lasting that long already so I think next time around either I will not laminate it or I'll like bind it I don't know I think I have like binding combs but I don't know how to do that <clears throat> but with a partner they'll read the, the but with a partner um, my students will read this book to one another so they'll take turns um, or they'll pick a book and they'll take turns reading to my surprise my kids were really enjoying these books because they can actually read it themselves sometimes they just need help with the first page but after the first page they can definitely read it themselves because they are very predictable or they can't stop coughing so I'm gonna stop filming pretty soon and then I have a bunch of little letter cards I guess so they'll pick a card look for it color it in and so on and so forth I got this off of like principal princess or something like that or princess printables I don't know so this has been in here for a while so I don't know it's just a little extra practice so those so are the three that I have right now for literacy and then I just added another bin and it's this green one I'm like kind of bummed that they're not the same size as you can see but it's okay but this is my fine motor um, scale bin I guess so let me show you what we have so this one is just something I got from Dollar Tree um, over the weekend so they are just like little monster shapes and they have some shoelaces and they'll just like lace them through the holes and then I have this one with linking chains with strips that tell you what pattern to make they're not all necessarily like a B patterns or stuff like that some of them are just random 
but I just like that they are working with their hands. All right, so my last fine motor school was definitely the most popular one. So I bought this little container. This is kind of where you put like medications on. And then I went ahead and put some labels in, inside each one. I don't have anything here because I didn't have a color to put in there. This would be done with a partner. So this would be your side. This would be my side. And then I have this little bucket filled with straws that I cut up. So they have the same color as the, that's in the little container thing. So what they would do is they would pick up a straw with these giant tweezers from Dollar Tree and I would put it in the corresponding um, color. Again, just for fine motor practice. Whoa, like I literally can't talk. This has never happened to me. So whenever we are doing independent practice um, and they are done quickly, then they will go ahead and choose one of these activities. Sometimes if I know that they need help with a specific skill such as accounting or something like that, then I will tell them like, hey, go get a pink baggie or go get a green baggie and they will and usually I don't know why but my kids all just sit on the rug and they will work on these since I did have quite a few like new baggies to introduce and I wanted to review the rules for other baggies that we've done in the past so we just kind of did centers with these in the afternoon all students up and they each tried every single bag and I would walk around to make sure they were all doing it correctly and that way next time around when they actually use it they know what they're supposed to be doing so yeah that's what I wanted to show you I guess so I went ahead and made copies of these little readers I guess um, of all the sight words that we're gonna be learning this week so we're learning out hour and under so I went so I printed those and I cut those I just need to staple those but I think I'll have my volunteer tomorrow and make those because I have, how many volunteers do I have tomorrow? I have one volunteer tomorrow. And then I also went ahead and printed, uh, let's see if I can show you, our letter U book, because we are learning about the letter U. I got this from the letter classroom. This was part of her phonics bundle. Um, I don't really use what she does, even though I love what she does, or what she used to do, but I do use these little booklets a lot. I also talked to some teachers about the 100th day of school and what they do so I can kind of have an idea of what to do. Oh, and then also today Zero the Hero came and visited us, so let me show you. So this is our Zero the Hero. Um, he was given to me and he brought us little, like, gummies. Sorry, gummies, I can't speak. So right after break, I lost a student, so today I had 15 students. However, I am getting a new student tomorrow, so I was trying to get those things ready. I have, I still have quite a bit of folders that I gave out during meet and greet at the beginning of the year. I went ahead and had, I went ahead and put together the homework folder and the invitation to class dojo. So now, so as of tomorrow, I will be back up to 16, which is great because today when we were doing partner stuff, um, it was like not an even number, so there would have to be a group of three, which didn't really work out, but now it will be back to normal. I'm really excited to meet this little student. If you don't follow me on Instagram, and you don't know this yet, you may have noticed, like, yeah, I'm engaged. And I don't know if I'm going to tell my students. Like, they know I got a ring for Christmas, but I don't think they understand what it means. So I guess my question to you guys is, if you got engaged during the school year, did you tell your students? And, like, did you not tell your students? Why or why not? I'd love to know. I honestly haven't told many people other than my friends and my family, and I did tell a few of my team teachers here. But other than that, I haven't really like announced it. I mean, of course, I did post of it. I, I mean, of course, I did post about it on Instagram, but that's about it. I'm honestly not feeling very well. Like my stomach hurts from so much coughing. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my New Year's bulletin board, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. No, I'm not gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go home because I have lots of laundry to do, and I don't know. I just feel like. Because I am sick, I should probably go home and get some rest. I'm not going to go to the gym today. Maybe I'll go to the gym tomorrow after I'm done with laundry. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. In tomorrow's video, I will show you something I'm really excited about. I changed up my listening center, and it's going, at least today, it went really well. So, I'll show you guys that tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this quick little vlog, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. How many times can I say tomorrow? <laughs> Bye.